My name is Charlotte Ren. I am a senior fellow of the Mac Institute for Innovation Management. I'm a visiting faculty member of the School of Social Policy and Practice at the University of Pennsylvania. In this research, we have revisited a fundamental topic in the strategy literature, that is, how experience affects performance. We study the worldwide aircraft industry. We study all the aircraft projects launched globally between 1944 and 2000 through three governance modes, internal development, joint development, and licensing. We analyze the performance implications of a firm's experience with a focal new product introduction mode. Our research shows that in the context of corporate development activities, in addition to the learning effect, there exists an additional causal mechanism, that is the selection effect. In other words, firms might have purposely chosen to have accumulated their experience in certain ways, leading to the endogenous, endogenous nature of the experience variable. So when we say experience in operational activities, the settings include chemical processing, shipbuilding, pizza delivery, and semiconductor manufacturing, and aircraft manufacturing. So operational activities are about goods manufacturing and service delivery. And in these corporate development activities, we mean experience in corporate acquisitions, interfirm alliance, international expansion, or experience in new product introduction, and experience in new market entry. For example, in our particular setting, we study a firm's experience of using the same mode to launch new products. The mode includes internal development, joint development, and licensing. The traditional view holds that practice and multiple reputation allows firms to draw valid inferences about efficiency of past processes, which leads to enhanced efficiency in the future. We argue that this is not the case in these corporate development activities, because these activities are very different from those operational activities. In these activities, the experience variable is not random, in that firms choose to accumulate their experience in certain ways, corresponding to the capabilities they already possess. So there's a well-known notion in the literature of organizational learning called competency trap. That means firms, they are good at doing something, so they keep doing the same thing. We actually provide further evidence for that notion of competence trap. And it calls for the attention of managers to address this issue even more uh, seriously, because we show that not firms, they do the same thing repetitively, and they also they choose to do the same thing repetitively because they think they have the capabilities of doing certain things. It will keep engaging in certain activities corresponding to those capabilities. In other words, they will keep engaging in activities with which they have been the most successful in the past and expect to be the most successful in the future. So as a result of this you know, self-reinforcing cycle, they will narrow down their choice set. They will narrow down their search processes, making them choose only a few options which they think they are very good at. Our research shows that because firms, they are likely to repeat what was done successfully in the past, they may overlook other important opportunities. In the language of organizational learning, they may be preoccupied with exploitation of existing opportunities and existing products, and they may overlook the opportunities for more important exploration, that is, the exploration of new products and new markets. And they may miss the next big thing. We want managers to be aware of the existence of both effects, the repetition effect, the learning effect, and also the selection effect. We want managers to be aware of like, how, how prevalent this competence trap is in their decision makings.